kailangan ganito. Like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're at our Airbnb today, so we booked an Airbnb for a month. Um, so it's been a little bit crazy, so we haven't done a lot of videos. So we're, we're going to try to see if we can power through and do a few videos today. So if you see videos with the same clothes, that's because we did it all in one day. <laughs> or it's just really cold here and we didn't need to shower anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, so today we're going to talk about things we did before moving to Spain. So how did we prepare ourselves for this move? The first thing we did was to take Spanish lessons over the summer. So we enrolled ourselves um, at Cal State Fullerton. Um, and at that time, it was a Zoom class, so it was perfect. We did four days a week from 6.30 to 9.30. Typically, the class ended around 8.30 or 9, um, but it was pretty intensive. Um, we, we did have to talk and we did have to participate. It wasn't just like the professora talking. So shout out to her <laughs> for helping us. She was so excited um, when she found out why we were taking classes. Um, so yeah, it was the first thing we did and we I got an A, I think. Yeah, I got um, an A. Yeah. You got an A? Yeah. I got an A minus. I don't know. I had, for me, it was a different experience because I was filming weddings on the weekends. Mm. And then I had to do homework, which I haven't done in at least 10 years. Maybe more. Do homework yeah. and oh, <laughs> participate yeah. in class. And, you know, it's just it was just a little hard. Um, I can't complain because my I only work on weekends, but... It was still hard for me um, as a person who doesn't really thrive in school. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it really helped. Um, we're glad we did the Spanish lessons because it really helped um, when we yeah. when we moved here. In Even Spain. if we forgot a lot of the words, um, it was easier for us to understand when people were talking to us. We would catch a few things and be like, "Oh, I understand," and I think I can answer a little bit um, in my in our broken Spanish. So we have Gino and Marie, who are business partners at Buffalo Video now. Um, and around that time, I think um, around, from the around time August, we, right? Like yeah. around August, we we were continually like meeting with them every week and turning over a lot of our responsibilities, make sure that they know exactly um, what we do yeah. and how they could, you know, like help us. And while, uh, so while she was meeting up with clients, Marie was logging in also. Joining in. Um, and, yeah. Observing and everything. And then Gino, for me, um, I was looking over production and he was also um, uh, helping me, like figuring things out and uh, yeah, observing everything good. we do. So, so yeah, even before we left, like we, we felt really good about um, leaving things with them for a while. And um, yeah. <laughs> The, the third thing we did, at least for me, that was really important was to get, because I have maintenance medicine, that's not really a big deal, but I, I made sure that I got more a than good supply. A, good, a good amount because we didn't know if, you know, when we get here, if there's a medicine that's the same or mm -hmm. if I needed to take care of paperwork first before I got to see a doctor. So I, I made sure I got those things and we also... We got the boosters and we got flu shots as well. So we wanted to make sure that, you know, for the first few months, we don't get sick here as much as possible. Um, so, yeah, that was something that we also had to check off our list. Once we got approved um, for the visa, that's when we started looking at when do we really want to move. Initially, I wanted to move before Christmas because I, I knew it was going to be busy. Um, but realistically, it made sense for us to um, to leave after Christmas because I want we also want to say goodbye to our families and you know have one last like nice gathering with them. Um, and I think that also gave us a lot more time to really do the next steps. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it was a little stressful uh, looking for flights because um, it was, it was a holidays. little last minute. Yeah. So it, the prices were fluctuating and until there was a point where it was just going, it was skyrocketing. So we're like, okay, we need to book this, no. these things now. Yeah, so we actually had to change our departure date to very, very close to New Year's, which we really didn't want because, um, you know, we felt that um, it'll be very busy. But we really had no choice. Um, the flight for December 28th was already booked, so we moved it to December 30th. Um, that was fun. Yeah. And then from after we got the flight, that's when we figured out which Airbnb we wanted to go to. And we have a really nice um, Airbnb where... Um, it's very close to the the Torre, Torre de Quart. So when you go out, it's like, wow, there's this big Torre right here, like a tower right there. Um, it, it, it has a um, Game of Thrones kind of feel, feel. Yeah. to it. So it's really nice. And it's free if you want to go up there. Um, I am a scaredy cat when it comes to heights. So I only went up like the first flight of stairs. After that, I'm, I told Paul, like, no way, you, you just go up by yourself. <laughs> It was fun though. <laughs> I'll yeah. probably put the video over this just so you can see. But um, one of the important um, things about booking was since we joined Facebook groups of like people in Valencia, people in Spain, and we asked like, well, where do we go for car rentals? Um, there were a lot of people who answered different things, but there's this one person who um, helped us out and he was... Uh, he works for Enterprise. Yeah, he was... There's a, Enterprise here. He was... Yeah, he's a general manager at Enterprise and... Yeah, he helped us. Uh, he helped us out uh, reserve mm -hmm. the the car and reserve the model for what we needed. Mm -hmm. Which turned out to be we needed something bigger. But, yeah. <laughs> but thanks anyway, <laughs> because it's we'll get into that. that. No, no, no. He was very helpful. Oh yeah, for um, sure. And you know, but. Um, we needed a car rental because we were landing in Madrid. Um, we didn't want to fly um, our dog in cabin in like a smaller plane because it, there would be no leg room for her. So we felt it was better to drive down, which was in itself a very um, tiring journey. Well, yeah, if this is your first time watching our videos, we brought a dog with us. So all this booking of the flights and mm. the Airbnb and the car rental and then includes the dog making sure that she's able to fly with us in cabin so yeah fifth thing we did was we stopped we took care of all the subscriptions and this mm. includes uh the netflix and hulu and disney plus and then um, we also did the the homeowner no no not the homeowner the renter's insurance and our car insurance because we sold our cars um all of those things yeah, yeah, we froze our credits. Yeah, we froze our credits. Um, we canceled some of our credit cards that we we know we probably won't use anymore. So we closed those um, first. And then, um, yeah, that's it. So you have to do that before you leave. Don't yeah. forget. After that, so once we found our definite date, then we kind of had to work our way backwards of what we're going to do. For example, um, porting the cell phone number. So we wanted to keep our old cell phone numbers and we had a postpaid plan. Um, so what we had to do was um, port that to Google Voice while we were in the US. Um, 
and we can go into a more intensive video of that. So that was pretty confusing because we had like temporary prepaid numbers for the past two weeks, two the weeks. last two weeks of yeah. our stay. Um, and so like my mom, like just today said, I'm trying to call you at this number. And I'm like, yeah, that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so um, so but- it got a little scary. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to make an, a video, a separate right. video for that because it was just a really confusing experience, which uh, fortunately for you guys, we went through all the I confusing figured parts. It out. And she figured yeah. it out. So, um, yeah, but um, porting the number was very important to us because we wanted to make sure that um, we were able to get text messages or anything like that from any of the accounts that had the, those numbers. Right. Um, Basically keeping our U.S. line mm-hmm. so that when we need to do the two-factor authentication, it's going to be easier. Like once we got here, like the I logged into Instagram and the bank accounts. It just sent me like the codes to my to our, to our old, old number numbers. and it, it it worked flawlessly yeah so but it's important to do that while you're in the u.s don't do it here it you doesn't to, work yeah. before you leave mm-hmm. it has to happen okay how do you choose what goes with you and what um you give away or you sell or you know or I don't know, like donate or throw away um, when you've lived in a house for about 13 years. So you accumulate a lot of things over, you know, little trinkets here and there. So that was a lot of fun. <laughs> we started with the big furniture. So our dining room table, somebody bought it on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> so, um, you know, that was gone. Um, yeah, I had to text my family. Hey, um, you need to bring your own chairs and your tables because we don't have a table anymore. <laughs> No, but yeah, so a lot, a lot of the big things had to go. Um, but then over over time, we also started selling a lot of our stuff, like things that go for fifty dollars, hundred dollars, twenty five dollars, um, through Facebook Marketplace. And then for the little knickknacks that I can sell for a dollar or something. So before we shipped it off to Goodwill, we actually went. Um, we had a garage sale, so. I think like two weekends before Christmas, we had a garage sale at our house. We posted it on Facebook, like we're having a garage sale. We posted like stuff online and um, and the posts. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. <laughs> the lamp posts of our neighborhood. Um, and yeah, we just sold everything for a dollar because it, it was either a dollar or donated anyway. And the it made things so easy because um, we were also able to bring out some of like other stuff that I didn't get a chance to post on Marketplace. I think we, we had a really good training when it comes to like letting go of things because my my parents have um, an affinity for um, keeping, things. keeping things. And we had training because I yeah. always tell my parents, you know, if you haven't seen it in a year, if you haven't used it in a year, You don't need it. Yeah. And that's, you know, we have to practice what we preach, right? So we had to like really let go of things and sell them for a dollar. Paul's sister was actually one of the best customers (laughs) we had that day. (laughs) Because like, I think she bought like, I know she probably paid us well over $30. So imagine $30 $30 worth of like dollar things or $2 things. Um, Which was what I'm pretty sure what was um, more than what she earned that day. (laughs) Oh yeah, well, she had a garage sale too. But <laughs> don't get us wrong, we 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 were a little bit more sentimental when it mm. when it got closer to the the yard sale. But you know, just looking at all these things and all the memories that we had, I think um, just concentrating on the fact that um, you're going to collect newer memories and newer things once just, you move, it's yeah. going to be an easier. It was a, it was really hard, like filming because I was filming the, like everything. The stuff got when it, the, the house went then, yeah. emptier, you know. Like the you know Marie Kondo, right? Shout out, shout out to Marie Kondo. Like thank it for the service, <laughs> and then like let it go. Um, yeah. But yeah, definitely it was freeing as well because then I didn't have to worry about like, oh, do I bring it? Do I not bring it? No, it's gone. It's out of my hands. Um, a lot of the things that we. Um, that were still like really good value, but um, um, I couldn't really like sell online. Like, um, let me see. Well, a lot of the things like clothes that um, didn't get sold, we mailed to the Philippines. So we, we have, I think I mailed about three boxes and there were still some clothes that 
I'm, um, that Paul's dad is mailing to the Philippines for his cousins and stuff. So I hope it fits. <laughs> so you know, like there, we also thought about like what we wanted to give to our families back in the Philippines. Um, that was important to us, um, especially since like it's like the last time we would be in the U.S. for a while. So <laughs> you know, I can't like make a box from here. I don't know. So yeah, the just all these things that we had to do, I felt like. If we didn't do one of those things, it, it would wouldn't be, have worked out. Yeah, we probably wouldn't be as like, I, I guess like at peace with our decision yeah. once we came here. So we, because when we arrived here, we were like, holy crap, are we are we really doing this? Like, we're in a totally different country now. Um, but yeah, it made it so worthwhile to spend time and really think, like prepare ourselves. So it was months in the making. Right. So I think what we would have done differently, probably like um, sold more things earlier, um, packed our things earlier. Um, I felt like we still had a lot of, even after we left, our families were still at the house getting rid of things because we filled all the trash cans. I had to call my neighbor and ask her, hey, can you bring out your trash bin earlier? And even then it was like, I borrowed hers, my sister-in-law who lives next door, the other neighbor who lives next door. So, you know, like, and there we were just like, we would just run out of time. So I feel that if not for our families, we would oh, yeah. have, I don't For know what we sure. would have done. Like Christine, our landlady would have killed us because we would have left <laughs> all of that. So, but our friends were there. Um, my cousins came over like uh, the day before we left, I think, or the yeah, two the days before. before yeah. And they were grabbing more things that they wanted. And they did that for a lot. My parents did the same. Um, his his family did the same. Like, okay, take this, take that, take that. So um, definitely like it didn't feel like they were... <laughs> robbing us or taking advantage of us it really felt like they were lightening our load so we're really really grateful for that um so yeah i think in hindsight we would have gotten rid of things um much earlier on like maybe october <laughs> yeah i would have loved to live in a in an empty house for a month than uh then you know, we were we, we were leaving the night before, and I was putting stuff in my bag still, mm, we're still packing. which I didn't really like. And he was like shutting down stuff. too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was just shutting down. Like he didn't care anymore. And I'm like, we still have to get all of this done. So yeah. And also, I think um for our dog Fifi, she was so confused because things were being emptied <laughs> out. Like suddenly there yeah. is no more TV. There's no more like TV stand. There's no dining table, and all of these. So um, I do feel like she was so confused with like how messy everything was. Um, yeah. And she's a rescue. So I'm pretty sure it's it's being like a flashback for her. Um, all these things moving and yeah. she's smelling she probably, all these things. Yeah, out. she probably felt like we were leaving her. So we, you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, in hindsight, I would have done that. Um, we did have to meet a few of our like good friends who wanted to say goodbye. And um but what we did was we put kind of like a deadline on ourselves like okay by december 10 whoever we can meet that's it like that's that's it after that we can't we ha they have to come see us at home um or wherever we are just you know but we can't make plans anymore because we have to we have to go um so yeah i think maybe move it a little earlier <laughs> maybe we needed those extra 10 days yeah we really needed those <laughs> yeah but, but overall it was still a great experience all the love that we've experienced from friends and family yeah. is amazing yeah i, I feel, wish we had more yeah, time i feel bad about like oh I, I really can't anymore yeah. like there were so many that wanted to like see us and i'm like oh I, I wish i could but there's just like i mean and testament to that really was the house was not empty when we left it like my mom had to go back that day um your yeah your family had to go back and like grab more stuff or throw more stuff away so yeah so i hope this helped <laughs> this video was all about uh the things we had to do before we moved to spain so i hope mm -hmm. it helps if you have any questions feel free to email us or um put it in the comments below right um we're gonna make more videos um hopefully in the next few days we're still looking for an apartment so that's kind of like taking a lot of our time and the siestas here and the jet lag too we the still have a little too. bit of jet lag so okay so thanks and we will see you soon yay
Bye. Let's go to Wego. <laughs> We're do. here. We're in the Airbnb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you want okay. to do? One, two, three.